fence blew over in a big windstorm. So what I did is I propped it up with these temporary fence posts to hold it in place. And now I'll go on the other side and show you how I'm repairing it. Alright, I think this seemed, I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube, I know there's a ton of them. This seemed the quickest and easiest to me. I was starting to dig out the old post concrete and I thought why in the heck am I going to spend all that time digging that out and removing that concrete and then I got to figure out a way to dispose of it. So what I did, I'll show you. So the post was there, it was rotted off at the bottom. I, uh, these 2 by 4s weren't here. So I just unscrewed the screws, pried out the nails that were holding this post. You can see where they were to the fence, got it separated, took that off. Excuse me a second. Set that down. And then to secure the fence, I put two by fours just with two screws, one at each end. Treated, try to use treated two by fours. These two aren't, but it's all I had. It's the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak. Everything's closed. Lowe's, Menards, every hardware store in Michigan is closed. On a, it's Easter Sunday, so I had to do with what I had. So anyways, screwed these in place temporarily. When I'm done, I'll go on the other side and put four screws on the other side to secure these good. Because instead of putting another beam right here where the seam of the two fences is, I need some way to hold these two pieces together. Um, so I just put the 2x4s there to hold the fence together and instead of replacing the wooden 4x4 which can rot, uh, that's what all the reviews I said read why put wood when wood rots eventually. I used a steel um, piece of galvanized steel fence post that I had in the garage. And so what I did is I put these temporary fence posts here with used a level to get them perfectly level. Um, strapped them with a pipe strap to the 2x4s and down there to the fence just to hold it in place while my concrete is setting and then I uh, use pipe strip to hold my uh, fence post in place. I ran it, drove it into the ground about a half foot and then I use this just to hold it so it stays perfectly straight while my concrete setting and I could not get quick creep because all the stores are closed so I found a guy that flips houses had a couple bags left over from a job so I went and picked those up poured my concrete in the hole so I dug I talked to a guy who installs fences for a living he said make sure the post is two and a half feet in the ground for a six foot fence they said one third of the height of the fence one half to one third of the post height should be into the ground so I got about a third and then I just poured dug a quite a large size hole uh, poured my concrete in there and I'm gonna pour some water on top of it and wait seven days because it's gonna be below 50 degrees here in Michigan for the next seven days here in April so after my seven days are done I will get some proper uh, clamps to clamp this to the 2 by 4s that are made for that some fence clamps and then I'll remove these temporary ones and I think I'm going to probably end up doing that all the way down the fence because I'm sure if this one's rotted, the rest of those have rotted out too. Hope this helps. If you have any, give a thumbs up if it helped you or make, some com make a comment if you have some other suggestions to help somebody else.